Good day. This is George, and I'm giving you a review on the Benchmade 750 Pinnacle.、Um, well, for all my reviews, I will have a short list of、uh, the summaries, and、uh, here is a section where I cover、um, just the scores I give you, I give for the knives, and also here is a section of the history and specifications of the knife.、Um, It covers most of the details, so I don't have to waste too much time to explain to you the obvious.、Uh, on the back of it, I will also cover、uh, the positives and the negatives of the knife. So, hope you can enjoy. Now, this knife was made in the beginning of、uh, the two thousands. So, given that time.、Uh, The Benchmade company decided to use the Japanese-made、uh, stainless steel ATS34, which is a pretty good steel. And also, they chose the handle material to be the 6AL4V titanium alloy. Now,、um, this is pretty much a, a Benchmade's own version of Sabanza made by Chris Reeve.、Um, so. The monolock design is definitely not a question.、Um, what I would like to point out is that、um, there are few、um, engineering design problems. I think that's、uh, associated with the knife.、Um, the first thing would be the liner lock here.、Um, it's I don't know what they used to 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 cut this、uh, section out, but if you can, if you can just look carefully here where the the cutting ends, you can see there is a square finish with、uh, sharp corners. Now, what happens is、uh, any mechanical engineer would know that. This this kind of sharp corner is usually avoided by by designers because、um, this sharp、uh, this sharp corner usually will be a focusing point of the stress. Now、um, this is obviously one of the mo most most、um, uh, vulnerable points of the knife because it's under stress when you lock up the knife. And when you step the knife onto a hard surface, here it will be taking some pressure,、um, and also with the long-term wear and tear,、um, this sort of corner would potentially develop into a crack, which is definitely not something you want on your lock. Because in my opinion,、um, a folding knife is only as good as its、um, its locking me mechanism. So if this bit fails, you could potentially endanger yourself. Now, what happens is most of、uh, the many、uh, the knife manufacturer are out nowadays would、um, avoid this sort of corner design, and instead they would put a huge round hole around it. With this round hole, the stress will be much much more diluted, and、uh, um, you have a stronger design. Um, if you don't believe me, you can you can check this point against, say, a spherical、um, military titanium model. You you will see where the same the same same、uh, point where the finish the cutting, they would have a round hole in there just to、uh, to be、uh, just to be safe.、Um, but otherwise. This is a, a pretty great knife, just in terms of the design and the material. I think it's definitely one of best made by Benchmade.、Uh, it's a three point six inches long blade, which allows you to defend yourself、uh, with this knife in 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 the worst case scenario.、Um, personally, I do I do not support using a a small knife in. A, In a self-defense situation, but if you absolutely have to, I think whoever designed this knife had definitely thought about、um, thought about the options.
of um, defending yourself using this knife because it's got um, it's got jimping on the back of the blade it's not the most aggressive jimping um, I have drawn a picture of the jimping here being magnified um, it, it kind of comes in a rather um, well I think I think it's a, a effective jimping but it's not the most aggressive one I have ever seen I mean even just any of the spider holes model nowadays would have a much better jimping also provided that say the spider coil models usually have a bigger ramp on the back of it due to that large thumb hole so keep that in mind um, this knife here see where the back of the blade is it's got a rather slightly um, a smaller ramp so that means you would have to rely more on the other part of the jimping on the, on the say for example on the on the index finger here and also what I like the most is the back of the the handle here they allow you to grip the the, the knife very well and also if you had to do a thrust attack um, I think this will do you do you a lot of good so I like it very much um, so overall I gave the knife a 7 out of a 10 for being a tactical knife because in my opinion a tactical knife a tactical knife would allow you to uh, use it as a weapon um, but as for EDC, I think it's definitely on the on the heavy side, and also it's it's reasonably big to be an EDC. So keep that in mind. I think ergonomics will it will be a seven, and the design will be seven. The quality, I mean the the craftsmanship, is definitely an eight because it's a beautiful knife. Material eight. Deployment, I give a 6 out of 10. Um, I think the deployment of the knife is, is uh, it's okay, it's, it's alright, but it's, it's not a super fast knife. But um, for some reason, I think that's what you can just expect from a monologue design. For some reason, that's just what I think. Sue me if you want to. Um, Otherwise, here's the summary of of the positives and the negatives. I think uh, it's definitely a really cool knife, and um, and for the for the um, for the purpose, it would it would it will serve pretty good for EDC, and a definitely a quite a strong knife for you to protect yourself with. So that's really good. Um, on the negative sides, I think um, they. I I have seen a picture of the new 750 Pinnacle on the Benchmade website, and they definitely had improved that a bit. They made it a round finish instead of the square one. I think um, that's good, but the new Pinnacle would cost you 800 US dollars, which is a gold class as well. So. Unless you have money to burn, um, I'd rather to get maybe a Spider Coast model, uh, military, for example. But uh, even this knife, it cost me two hundred fifty New Zealand dollars for a second hand. So you can imagine the 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 brand new one would cost you quite a bit. Um, in US in US dollars, I think would it cost you two hundred bucks easy. Um, the negative points also, also again, I think um, the jimping on the over here could be improved, and also um, it's not a super insanely sharp knife. I mean, I mean it's it's okay, but it's not going to impress you in a sense too much. All right, that's the end of the review, and thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.